up guys, welcome to today's YouTube video where today we're going to do another Funko News Friday. We really gotta get an intro for that because it actually just fits, it's our thing now. And basically we always like every Friday talk about the leaks of that were upcoming through the week and basically showcase what we thought was cool for you guys to see. So if you guys could make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscription, it helps with the channel immensely. Also comment down below characters you guys want to see in those art shorts. I keep asking that because I think it's fun to just talk about. And also comment down what pops you guys see or that have been leaked that you guys really wanted to pick up. I'd just be curious what you guys see versus what I like to pick up and it's just fun for me to just talk to you guys about nonetheless though let's get right down to basically nowhere because we're gonna be sitting here doing this funko news friday video all right guys welcome back to funko news fridays like we always talk about and we do have some pretty decent leaks honestly in today's video not that there was too many crazy things but again there was some nice stuff to talk about obviously this week but there was some really cool stuff that i was glad to talk about which some of the cool things we're going to be speaking about are going to be from some pretty cool franchises so obviously so start off with these first nft pops we do have our first set of nft pops from obviously rick and morty with rick and two crows blim blam we have space beth then over here we have nimbus for rick prime and then freddy funko as evil morty we have a lot of rick and morty funko pops already out at the time but again new nft pop i think it's the first time rick and morty's ever gotten nft pops i think it's funny that evil morty is the freddy funko there's a lot of cool ones that are obviously in that set. I don't know if I'm going to be going for those personally, but it is cool if you guys are NFT fans. Leading to our next set, we do have Bullseye from D23, and also that little underneath, they have Flock Stitch down there. I don't know why those are in the same picture, but basically it's just that Bullseye from D23, at, only at Target, where he's basically uh, wearing a Captain America shirt. I don't collect the uh, icons like that for like the dogs and stuff, but it is cool if you guys are out there or care about the like flocked bullseye dog. Next up, we do have, this isn't like a great picture, but basically if you go down to your Hot Topics already, they're dropping out this new Super uh, or Goku Ultra Instinct with a glow. And it's basically just a reskin of the common, I believe, with a little bit of aura in the background. I'm not 100% certain. I don't look like Dragon Ball. But that is there for Dragon Ball fans, and it is already dropping this week, so that's kind of why I put it in here, because it's already at Hot Topics. Now it comes to the big set we have to talk about, which is basically everyone's hype up Beetlejuice. And I do have a follower I know that really loves Beetlejuice. So here's your little bit of Beetlejuice stuff. And these are for the second movie, which is basically Bob. We have Beetlejuice and Lydia, Lydia Dietz. We have Astrid. We have Lydia Dietz again. We have a chase of Beetlejuice and then Beetlejuice. I don't know what the chase is exactly. Oh, we also have Dolores. I didn't see her down there. But basically, those are going to be your Beetlejuice 2 pops. If you guys do want to see a movie review of that, just let me know. And I definitely could try to do a movie review of that. I don't really know, like, anything much about Beetlejuice. I'd have to go back and rewatch. Like, I don't know if there's... I know there's a movie. I know there's, I think, a cartoon, I think. But, nonetheless, that is a lot of cool pops for that set if you guys are followers of that set. Another D23 pop we do have is going to be Spider-Man and Venom right there. Basically, like, in their, like... It looks almost like comic book art, like, color styles. Which does look really cool. I don't know if I'm going to pick this up personally, but it is cool, to especially to get a Venom and a Spider-Man 2-pack like that. Um, I do like that Spider-Man a lot, though, and I even like that Venom with Eddie, like, Brock's face showing. Continuing on with the Spider-Man train, we have an Amazon exclusive, basically, of Superior Spider-Man right there. And I think this is a new mold. I'm not 100% certain. It does look really cool. I do like the Doc Ock version of Spider-Man, basically. That's what Superior Spider-Man is, is Otto Octavius. And it does look really cool, though. I do like it, and I don't know if I'm going to pick it up, though, because I haven't really been buying too much stuff off Amazon. I do need to get back on that Amazon grind to pick up some of the exclusives like Ishiki, that Metallic Aaron, that um, Floating Ang that glows, a couple of things like that. But leading on to the next set of pops we do have, which is basically a lot, we have a Christmas Carol with, obviously, Scrooge right there. Then over here, you have the Ghost of Christmas, which has a glow. There's also the Ghost of Christmas Present. The Ghost, I think, is Ghost of Christmas Past, I believe. There's also the ghost, no, the girl is the ghost of Christmas past, uh, Jacob, Marley, and then Tiny Tim. Never seen the movie, don't have anything really to talk about. I do know who Scrooge obviously is because they made very much references, especially to like Scrooge McDuck and all sorts of other things that are just, you know, based off that movie. But I've never seen Christmas Carol, so I don't really know anything about that. However, there is like some cool pops that look like they glow. So that's also pretty cool. Next, we do have our next set of pop, or actually our one set of pop, and that's going to be the Captain America cover of like a black and white. And it is really cool. I just don't pick up comic covers, so I doubt I'm going to be picking this one up. But it is cool for people that like comic book covers. I just don't really get into them. I do want to pick some up more, but I just, you know, it's just something I just don't get into often. Also, like I always mention in most of these Funko, Funko News Fridays, shout out to Scarlet Joker, Funko Insider, Dish Tracker, and then obviously Rock Osiris, because usually they're the ones that give these leaks. That's why we get these cool, you know, different pops like this. Next up, we do have some WWE pops, which the only guy I know is uh, Hulk Hogan in the middle. I have no idea who the other two guys are, but there is some wwe pops for anybody that follows that line which is just not me personally then next we have acdc with basically two angus young pops one looks like a moment which is basically him on stage like jamming out and the other one's just him inside of like just about to string his guitar 
Uh, ACDC is cool. My uh, my family likes the band a lot more than like my mom and dad like the band a lot more than I do. I just know a couple songs, nothing too crazy about it. And this is going to be our last leak of the day. We went through this kind of quickly because for the most part, there really wasn't anything that I was on the hunt for actually this week. But I always find it fun to just showcase for stuff like you guys. And the last set we do have is going to these Blacklight Infinity Saga set, which is basically Iron Man and Mark Three. We have Iron Man and Mark Five, and then we have Iron Man in the Mark One, which is basically the Iron Monger suit if you base if you do know from the comic books. And then there's like a ginormous 10 inch Hulk Buster for that looks cool. I again, I don't usually pick up black lights. I, the only one I have, I think, is the Sylvie black light from Loki. And I picked it up because of the fact that I do want to get the entire Loki set done at some point. But I picked it up because it's again, it is part of the set, technically speaking. So I did pick it up. Now, these I don't know if I'm going to pick up, but I do really like how they're different Iron Mans because it's like the different suits he's gone through during the movies, especially because it's like, okay, I do like it. And I might pick them up. I might not. I don't really know. I'm not a big black light collector like some people that just buy black lights. So if I do, you guys will definitely see it. If I don't, you guys will also see that. But that is every leak for this week, basically. And like I mentioned, there wasn't anything that I'm personally on the hunt for, but, you know, maybe there's something out there that you guys really were excited to see and we're going to go pick up because of this video. By the way, we also, again, some really cool pickups for the cup coming week because I actually was able to do some really cool stuff. And mostly it's that Hot Topic, which I know we go to Hot Topic a lot, but just where all the, like, bangers have been recently. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if any of those leaks were interesting to you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.